guys and welcome back to another unfiltered gamer board game review this video sponsored by the game crafter in this video we'll be showing the game shields up by patrick mcneil this is a two-player 18 card card game which means there's 18 cards in here and it plays two players it takes about 10 to 15 minutes or extremely short if you get unlucky or your opponent is extremely skillful ages 12 and up and in the game shields up you're basically trying to defend yourself against an attack from your opponent and vice versa you're going to start with two shields and two cards in hand as well as a store and you're basically trying to build equipment such as death rays and missiles as well as throwing space mines at each other destroying your opponent's shields and thusly removing all their shields and doing one last bit of damage to them and ending the game in you being victorious now of course your opponent's trying to do the same thing and as you collect certain types of equipment it gets more difficult to gather those equipment cards there's unique things like batteries and other types of reactors that will help you along by stealing cards from your opponent's hands or gathering cards from the top of the deck or the equipment deck and attempting to eventually just knock your opponent's shields out and thusly win the game so let's go ahead and take it down below i'll show you how to set the game up what comes included and how to play and then we'll discuss what i think about it here is the game shields up by patrick mcneil and concrete canoe games and basically it's going to come in this little pack here from the game crafter it tells you everything you need to know about it as well as a little summary on the back and what's going to be inside after you just pop this little back open is 18 cards and the rules it'll show you all the cards and how it's supposed to be set up as well as the basic setup for the game and the phases in which the game is going to take place and then here you're going to have the deck of cards for the game 18 cards like i said and there are different types of cards whether they be missiles or space mine you can have the death ray certain objects like the transporter hijinks or the stockpile an energize battery and there should be four space mines in fact these are really really cool and they're basically going to be shields that also will do damage to your opponent as well as things that you can just simply throw at your opponent you'll have tractor beams here which will let you steal cards at random from your opponent's hand and then you're going to have this wild card here called the power Cup, uh, coupler, coupler, smuggler, and the mind wipe. And your objective is to do damage to your opponents until their shield is gone, and then after their shield is gone, do one more damage to them. And these are the cards that will be utilized to do that. There is the three types of cards, missiles, space mines, and death ray, along with this wild card that, as you can see how the symbols are, are working, they work for all three of these, along with the, or so all, the, all three of these, the tractor being the missile and the death ray. Take all these cards, and then you're gonna shuffle them up. After you're done shuffling them up, you're going to deal out two cards to each player as shields. And then you're going to go ahead and deal out two cards to each player for their hand, their starting hand of the game. After you're done doing that, you're then going to go ahead and put out the deck for a shop. And you're going to put two cards out for the shop. So we got a smuggle and we got a tractor beam and the rest of the cards in the shop here. Choose a player to go ahead and go first. And on your turn, you're going to get to take two actions. One action is you can draw a card from the top of this deck here. If you do that, it's simply going to go into your hand. Another action you can do is take the tractor beam on the very far right hand side, whatever equipment card this is or item, it's gonna cost you one action. It is the oldest card in the shop. The newest one here is smuggle and that would cost you two if you wanted this card here. You can play a card down, face down as a shield, which is gonna cost you an action. You can play a card from your hand that is an equipment as an action. And then you can also play a card from your hand, like Battery, that simply does an effect for an action as well. You may only ever have three total max shields out in play at any point in time, and you may also have no shields out and thus will be vulnerable to your opponent's attack. Let's go ahead and show you a couple turns here. So I've got my Death Ray and my Battery. My Battery says I can use an action to equip the card, and on my next turn I can use zero actions to discard this and take two extra actions. I'm going to equip that for sure. I've also got this death ray, but I currently can't use it, and I don't want my opponent to know that I have it, so I'll just draw a card from the deck. That's my two actions. Now, my opponent's going to go. He's got a missile and a space mine. I'm going to go ahead and just place that space mine down here, because whenever a space mine is a shield and takes damage, it'll be removed, but it'll also do a damage to your opponent. This is a missile card. I don't want my opponent to know I have this yet, so I'll go ahead and draw a card. That's Energize. Power up the shields. I can pay, uh, take one or two cards from the top of the deck and power my shields up. Not so not so shabby. I got two death rays here. One more type of card is all I need to win the game, but I have to play them. So I'll go ahead and play one death ray, letting him know that I at least have one. And then I'll go ahead and draw a card. Power converter. That is a wild. That's excellent. Now, 
it is my opponent's turn. My opponent's got his Energize and Missile. He'll go ahead and show off that Missile there. And then he's going to go ahead and draw a card from the top. Well, he might want the Tractor Beam, but it's going to cost two Tractor Beams to get it. So I'll go ahead and just draw a card from the top of the deck. Nice. That's another Missile to do damage. So now it's my turn. Now, all I need to do is play both of these cards, and then the Death Ray will initiate, and my opponent will be destroyed because the Death Ray does four damage. So I'll use this battery, which gives me two additional actions. So I have four. One and two, because it cost me this cost me one, so one, two, and three. And I don't need that fourth action, so I go ahead and simply add these cards here, put them in the discard pile, and do four damage to my opponent. One damage, two damage, three damage, space mine triggers and hits one of mine, and then four damage, destroying my opponent and ending the game shields up. It's very, very quick as long as you know what you're doing in the game, and depending on how you play your cards. Obviously, that was a very simple example of how the game goes, but there's a little bit more to it as well. Now you're going to be playing cards, and depending on what you get lucky at getting, if you don't get that death ray, you're going to be doing things like Space Mine, your missiles are going to be doing damage, and there's a potential for both players to simply lose the game, because if you do two damage to me and you have no shields, and one of my shields, I only have one shield out, and it's a Space Mine, then that's going to kill you, and I'm also going to die as well. And that's the game Shields Up. You can go ahead and start again by just simply giving everybody their cards and their shields, putting out the new deck, and playing Shields Up, and attempting to destroy your opponent's shields in the game. Let's come up and discuss it. Now that you know how to play the game, let's go ahead and discuss a little bit about the game. Let's talk about some of the cards I didn't show, like Transporter Hijinks. This one here lets you swap hands with an opponent, so if you have this in your hand, for one action you can play this card and swap whatever cards are in your hand with your opponent's hand. This can lead to some brutal blowouts. If your opponent has a bunch of cards in hand and you have only this one, you're going to gather all of those cards. It's very useful. However, if you have more cards than your opponent, it might not be a card you'd want to play. Memory Wipe. You can use zero actions to play this card and discard one or two cards from the market and then refill it. So basically you can get cards that you may or may not, you may, you may not want out and cards you may want in the market and thusly take them. And remember, it's one action for the farthest on the side, which is the oldest card in the market, and two actions to take the second one, which is the newest. Uh, this one here is a battery, and that's the use an action to equip this card. And on your turn, you can discard it for zero actions to get two more. I didn't actually, in that example, need to discard this card to use, gain the extra two actions, because like, I just played those two death ray tiles or cards and just simply killed my opponent but to show you guys what it did i figured i would smuggle use two actions to play this card and you can steal an opponent's shield card that's in play or draw or take a card from their hand these are all very useful most of the time the way you're going to be damaging your opponents is either these space mines here or the missiles However, to end the game, there is that Death Ray. And there are four pieces of the Death Ray available. There's the Wild, and then there's the three basic pieces of the Death Ray. So if one Death Ray piece is used as a shield, you can still get it. But if two are, you'll have to start using those missiles and using the Space Mines. Space Mines can be played as a shield and then a dealt damage to your opponent based on them hitting you. And you can also, for one action, use two of the Space Mines to do two damage to your opponent. Very, very useful. Overall, this game is very simple as to how it's played. It's usually fairly quick. Sometimes you can get lucky and get the best cards that you need in the hand. Other times, it's going to be a more aggressive, combative game where it has a lot of swingy aspects to it. You think that you're going to win. Your hand goes away and your opponent now has it. Or there's no way he can get the death ray because you've got one here and you've got one as a shield. And then all of a sudden, he steals it with one of the cards and thusly eliminates you. The game has that quick notion of you don't know what's going to happen next. There's a bit of chance in the game as to what's coming up, but there's also a good amount of strategy in determining what cards are in the deck, what cards are face down that you've placed as shields, and what cards are in your opponent's hand based on what they've taken. You have a good idea of what's going on after about the first couple turns of the game, and if it doesn't end by then, then it gets into some really combative nature. Some really, there's some really combative nature in the game in which you don't know exactly what your opponent's going to play and how they play it, but you do know what they've got for the most part. You know what's coming in the deck, and if the deck ever runs out, you're going to reshape shuffle it and that new those cards are going to come out in the shop so you're always going to have a deck of cards unless for some reason the cards in your in your hand and your opponent's hand there's just no room for the shop then you're just gonna be playing but that wouldn't be that wouldn't matter anyway another thing to note too is it's possible but very unlikely that three mines are down as shields and then the de uh, the the two missiles and a death ray is down or something like that to the point where people can't actually use 
uh, a combative card to do damage, except for just one singular space mine. And it would just go until eventually the cards started coming out from shields and people could use them as damage. It's only happened once to me ever, and this is I've played this game before previously where I did a did explain explanation of a bunch of 18 card card games. I briefly talked about this one, but it can happen. Overall, Shields Up is a sweet little gateway game. It's great if you want to play a game on the go or something that only takes five to ten minutes to play. And it's also great for teaching players take that game. So with a little bit of tableau management for 18 cards this card game has a lot to it and I strongly suggest you take a look at it down below in the description on Game Crafter if you'd like to pick up the game Shields Up, a fun little game that I really enjoy playing.